Hello, welcome you all to the official SetCommerce channel. Today's video is all about the appointment booking system. We will see how with the help of appointment booking system, you can create booking types of products for your store. So that you can offer appointment types of products and services for your store. This extension can be used for different businesses and professionals such as doctors, cosmetologists, pathologists, and automobile servicing etc. In order to do so, let's start with the Magento admin. Once you will install this extension to your Magento store, you will get a booking tab over here. Once you will click on a booking tab, you will get lots of options over here. Booking dashboard, booking orders, booking cards, booking facilities, and the settings section. From the booking dashboard, you can get a detailed analytics for your bookings. From the order sections, you can get all the orders for the bookings, for the appointment booking that has been scheduled from the front end of your store. From the card section, you can create a appointment types of products or services. You can manage all the created products or services. From the facilities section, you can create a new facilities that will get aligned with your products or you can manage all the facilities that has been already created. From the settings section, you can enable or disable these extensions. So let's start with the settings section. Once you will click on the settings section, you will get a two section over here, booking setting and the appointment setting. In the booking settings, you will get our enable booking system. By selecting this yes or no, you can enable or disable this booking system for your store. If you select yes, the feature of booking scheduling is available for the store. That's mean admin can create appointment type of product and customer can check them and book for a service or product from the content of the store. If admin select the option no, the feature of the appointment is made hidden from the store. From the map API key, here admin needs to provide a Google map API key that is used to locate the address of the customer and admin for the office on the map. In the appointment settings, you have to enable appointment system by selecting yes or no. You will get the next section, the show appointment pop links. Admin need to enable this yes to avail the feature of appointment scheduling and addressing all the features related to that. If admin wants to set the top link for appointment on a header of his store, he can select yes from the link and jump to the appointment page where all the products and services related to appointment bookings are listed at one place. In the appointment top link title, you can specify the appointment type top link title like find nearby bookings that I have already uh, mentioned over here. In an appointment banner, here admin can upload the appointment banner which is displayed at appointment landing page. Admin can upload an image type like PNG, GIF, JPG, etc. In the panel, height and width, you can specify the height and width of a banner if you require. So that's what all about the configuration settings. Once you are done with that, you can click on save config. Now let's move to the facilities section. Adding a booking facilities, here admin can add a facilities that can be provided for appointment booking types of products. These facilities further are used to link to the product or services that are created for a customer to avail. By clicking on add facilities, you can add a new facility. 
a new facility form appears which admin need to provide the details. Now let's move to the next section that is Appointment Booking Dashboard From the Appointment Booking Dashboard Admin can view the snapshot of your total booking Total sale, total booking orders, country-wise, booking statistics and recent activity on your associated booking table products Along with this Admin get a detailed display calendar where all the appointment booking order is scheduled to the date as per the appointment received. Let's move to the next section and see how we can create an appointment type of products. The process of adding products is same as creating any other products as per default management. Some part of this area is newly launched and updated in the product creation for creating an appointment type of products by the set products. To add a new product, you can click on Add Product Appointment Booking. The product creation page will appear. All the fields are same as by default Magento. Now, the newly created fields are booking general information. Once you will click on that, here in this section admin need to enter the details that are specifically related to booking types of products. The location box is mapped with the Google API. So admin can just type the store name as marked in a Google map. So it will auto pop up and be marked on a map on the service booking page. Show location on the map. Here admin can decide to show the location set on the map to customer or not. Just by enabling or disabling this feature. In a booking policy, admin can enter the policy set for the services. In a booking terms and condition, admin can define the PNC for the booking product that will be visible at the front end of your product page. Ne next section is appointment slot. Once you will click on that, you will get a different services types over here. Here admin has two options, the branch and the home services. This means the customer need to visit the branch office of the business and there his appointment is scheduled. If you select the home services, that means customer want the services provided to visit his location and provide him with the service offer. In the duration, you can specify the duration for the appointment, how long the appointments should be. Quantity per slot. In a quantity per slot, number of people allowed per appointment. Same slot for all weeks space. If you enable yes, no, that means there will be no same slots for all weekdays. In this case, you have to specify all the slots for all the days. Add non-working date. In a non-working date, admin can mark all the non-working days. Therefore, on a, those selected dates, none of the slots will be visible to the booking for an appointment. In the booking facility, admin can click on assign facility that are already created and explained. So you can select any facility if you wanted to align the facilities to your products. 
and rest are all the same as by default the magenta so you can save this part and that will be visible at your front of the store now we'll see the booking orders The booking order is received in the same manner as the order is received in a magenta section for any types of cards. Appointment booking extension of set commerce have been done enabled for additional changes to the orders like if you will view the cards order. You will get some additional part in this section. Like the timing, the shop location, the, as a, it's a, an appointment type of cards. That's why we are getting the additional fields over here. Now, from the front end store, we'll see how, as a customer, we can book an appointment for any product or services. When customer land to the web store, on the top of the header, we see find nearby booking top links over here that is already explained and uh, once customer will click on this link customer will land to the page where customer can see all the list of appointment services that are you are offering here customer can filter by price filter by location filter by date filter by services types like branch and home service for both so now we can uh, see how customer can book an appointment for any product or services. So let's click on any particular services or product. So let's say I click on a deep issue. So I'm getting these fields over here like the duration services, home location. Google map, date for selection, the details of, of products in the review and rating section. So now if I wanted to book an appointment for this particular product, I can select the duration. As we can see this, this product like this uh, product is for home services. That means you will offer the service to the customer address as a customer i can uh, specify my address over here either or i can uh, select from the map from the date section i can select the date of an appointment which are available for uh, for, for this particular services so let's say i selected 27 i'll get a time slots i can select the time slot and the quantity specify my address over here So I can pick any uh, my address by the Google map as well. So once you will done with that, you can click on add to cart and this cart will get added to your shopping cart. You can see, you can proceed to the checkout and you can book an appointment for this particular service. So that was all about the appointment booking system, how you can utilize this to offer appointment types of products or services for your store so thank you if you have any more questions or concern you can contact the set commerce team at any time i wish you all the best thank you so much